Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna share the four types of content that I share to grow my audience on Twitter. So I grew my audience from zero to 6,700 followers in about one year. And while that might not seem like a lot, I have higher engagement that, that I've seen from people who have five to 10 times more followers than me. And even more importantly, I've seen a pretty high conversion rate from people who are Twitter followers to becoming customers and clients for my different offers. So if you're looking for content types to help you grow an audience faster on Twitter, and not only just an audience, but an engaged audience who actually buys your stuff, make sure you watch this video until the end and you're gonna see how to do that. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean and on this channel, I teach you how to create internet income from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that said, let's jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you what these four content types are as well as examples so you can start creating content like this too and growing your audience on Twitter. So let's jump into my computer right now. All right, so you guys know how much I love my Google Docs and I'm just gonna share with you these four Twitter content types to grow your audience, but not just growing an audience, an engaged audience who actually buys your stuff. So I just broke it down just based on the different content types. And I'm gonna share examples with you as well, just a few examples from each of these so you can see what this looks like in real time. So the first content type is results. And this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just sharing results from myself or clients or yourself and your customers and clients. So here's one example here. These are some recent examples. So this one was about a Zoom, ask me anything I did. I gave access to a replay and I had different tiers of pay what you want. And I was just sharing that 11 people paid for T4, which is 999 plus. So this is just like a little bit of results. I'm just sharing what happened on something that I was experimenting and testing out. And it got pretty good engagement and people messaging me asking how I did it and how they could do the same thing, right? So that is one example of a result. That's a personal result. Here's another one right here. I cut my tweeting in half the last month, two to three tweets a day, one thread a week. Engagement is up, daily followers are up, people, are, people buying my stuff is up, quality versus quantity. So this is kind of a combination and you're gonna see a few combinations of Twitter content types that do multiple different types. So this one's a mix of results and value because I'm sharing what they can do to get their engagement followers and people buying up. So this is kind of like a personal result mixed with a value content type. One more example here that we'll look at for the results. And so this is a result from one of my buddies who bought one of my products, uh, Eddie Kwan, War on Weakness. And so I just took a screenshot of a messaging conversation that we had, and it was about a product that I have called the Cash Windfall Campaigns. And he was just sharing his thoughts on how he enjoyed it. And this actually resulted in, I wanna say three extra sales for this, which is a $2.99 product if you pay all at once. You can see James right here who has a pretty big audience. He actually bought off this post and there was a couple other people who bought off this too. So this is an example of sharing results from one of my customers or my clients. So that's pretty straightforward. The results section, you're just sharing results from yourself or from your customers and clients. Now the value content type. People think value is just how to and teaching. It doesn't have to be just teaching and how to, right? It's sharing an insight, a wisdom, or a lesson that gets the reader to think or behave differently. And so here are a few examples. The first one here, I see a lot of cats on Facebook flexing how big their team is. I'm over here trying to answer the question of how do I build a multi-million dollar business with three people or less? So I'm not doing any teaching in here. I'm not doing any how to. I'm just getting somebody to think a little differently. So if somebody reads this and they think the only way is to, is to build a big team, right? I need to hire 10 people, 20 people to build this multi-million dollar business. And they read this, they might think, huh, maybe I can build a lean business, a one person million dollar business. Maybe it's possible. And so I hope you understand what I mean by that. Like I'm getting someone to think just a little differently. It's not a huge change, right? It's not a very long tweet at all. It's three sentences, pretty short sentences. And I'm just getting them to think in a different perspective, a different light. And you can see this 212 likes, uh, a bunch of retweets. James Shramko, somebody I respect. He's an author of a book called Work Less, Make More. And you can see um, he's commenting as well, right? So there's some pretty big names and people engaging with this. There's also um, Taylor Welch was commenting on this who has a pretty big following. So this is an example of a value post that gets the reader to think a little differently. 
Example number two. This one is about making offers. So it says, when making an offer, don't tell them what they'll get. Eight weeks coaching, Zoom calls, 100 hours of content, no one cares about that. Tell them what you'll get done together. We're gonna add 10K a month recurring from your Twitter audience in 90 days. That's what really matters. So this is, again, getting someone to think differently. It, it does have a bit of here's how to do it, right? Don't talk about this stuff, talk about this. But this is getting someone to think differently again because this is very common. People are always like, hey, I got coaching, it's eight weeks, I have this amount of content, this many videos, but people don't care about that, right? They care about what you're getting done together, the outcome. So I'm getting people to think differently, like, oh, that's maybe why my offers aren't working or hitting. So that's another example. Here's a third one here. Pretty sure this one's a thread. So, yep, so I grew my email list from zero to 10,273 subscribers using mostly free strategies. Those subscribers bring in 40K plus in sales every month. Here are seven simple things I did to grow my email list. So this is a bit more how-to. This is a thread. Threads do very well if you do it right. I talk about threads in a previous video, the secret weapon to growing on Twitter fast, so go watch that if you haven't yet. But this got a ton of engagement, a ton of likes, a ton of shares, and this is more of the teaching format, right, how-to. So this is just sharing how I grew my email list. And this kind of overlaps with the third content type that I'm gonna share uh, in just a second. But you'll see what that is. This is another value type of post. This is more lesson education, but most people think they only need to post this type. This is not the only type of value post. I showed you two other types there. So if I go back to the doc, those are the value examples, insights, wisdoms, or lessons that you share to get the reader to think or behave differently. So the third content type is lifestyle. And lifestyle is just inspiring others by sharing what your life is like from what you've achieved. So I'm just gonna open up all these three at the same time so we can save some time. And then I'll share what's going on with this. So the first example, if I look at this here, it says I've written an email every day for the last two and a half, two and a half years. Now I can put 200 to 500 words in and get 1K plus in sales out. Here are my 11 laws to write daily money makers. So this is kind of a mix between lifestyle and value because I am sharing something that's a little how-to or a little here's how you write better emails. But here's the lifestyle piece, right? Now I can put in 200 to 500 words and get 1K plus out. Someone can read that and be like, I wanna achieve that. I want that kind of lifestyle where I can write 200 to 500 word emails and make 1K plus a day. That sounds awesome. So that's what I mean by lifestyle. And to be completely honest with you, I can do a lot better job at displaying my lifestyle and what that looks like. I'm just not extravagant. I don't like those Lambo ads and really flashy ads uh, because I don't live that way and I don't wanna create ads or content like that. But I can do a better job of just displaying the lifestyle and what my life looks like personally because of the businesses that I built. But that's just one example. Another example is this one here. So, a couple of days ago, I wrote an email in 20 minutes that made 5K in sales. So someone can read that and be like, I wanna write an email in 20 minutes and make 5K, that sounds amazing. This email is now an asset I can clone over and over. I can send it out to my list again, send it to a client's list, turn it into a template to sell, use it to create content, and turn every win into many. So again, this is a mix of lifestyle and value because I'm sharing something that's getting them to think a little differently. In this case, it's, oh, I can turn one win that I have into multiple different wins. So that's another example of a lifestyle value com combo. The third one here, my business is pretty simple. I create content which leads to conversations, then I make offers to the people I like, then I help those people get a result. It's not sexy, but it's worked for years. Simple makes money. And so this is like another post where it's like someone can read that and be like, I wanna just create content that creates conversations and I wanna work with people that I like and I wanna get to handpick my clients. So this is another sneak peek into the lifestyle, right? What my life looks like because of the businesses that I've built. So those are lifestyle examples, inspiring others by sharing what your life is like from what you've achieved. Let's go to the last content type now, and this is personal. So personal content types, this makes people feel like they know you a little better after reading it. So you can use humor here, you can use personal stories, your hobbies, you can also do things like shit posting and humor. So I'll show you a few examples of those. Here's the first example. This one's pretty lighthearted, I think, if I'm thinking of the right thing. Yeah, so uh, I booked my honeymoon. I shared that where I was going, Amsterdam, Rome, Venice, Florence, and Amalfi Coast. 
where are some must go places there? We like to eat, drink and party. So somebody can read this and after they do, the reason it's a personal post is they feel like they know me better. Oh, Sean likes to travel, he's married. He likes to eat, drink and party. He is going to Italy for his honeymoon, right? So someone can read this and know a little bit more about me after reading it. So that's why it's a personal post. Let's go to the second example and let's just open up all of these here. Number four, and let's take a look. So the second one is just, it's kind of like a shit post. It's, it's like a humor post. If she can make 200K farting in jars, you can make 10K a month online. Okay, so a bit of a funny post, got pretty good engagement and people commenting. And this is just another personal post. Somebody can read this and be like, oh, Sean likes to joke around. He has a sense of humor. Here's another one here. Happy Saturday to everyone except this guy who borrowed 2260 from a drug dealer to buy my ebook and is asking for a refund 24 hours later. So this is kind of like a funny personal story. Like I got an email from this guy and this is a true story, right? I, I have a screenshot here of the guy saying that. Um, really good engagement, right? 282 likes, a bunch of retweets and quote tweets. And so this is an example, again, of a personal type of post. And this is more like a personal story mixed with some shit posting here. Here is the last example. Honestly, have not used shampoo for two months and my hair is healthier than ever. Looks fuller, not thinning anymore, and doesn't smell like shit either. Try it out, ditch the shampoo. So another personal post. I just kind of winged this. I tweeted it from my phone. I didn't schedule this out. And for whatever reason, got a ton of engagement. People messaging me directly like, hey, what did you do? Can you share how you did this? Even though it's just not shampooing your hair and people commenting. So this is an example, again, of another personal post because I'm sharing a bit about me and someone can read this and learn a little bit more about me after reading it. So these are the main four content types that I post on my Twitter profile. Everything I tweet and post, if you go and look at my Twitter timeline, if you wanna follow me, it's Sean Anthony says, you're gonna see that it's falling into one of these content types, one of these content categories here. So re again, results, sharing results for myself or clients, value, which is insights, wisdoms, or lessons that you share to get the reader to think or behave differently. Lifestyle, which is inspiring others by sharing what your life is like from what you've achieved in your business or in your life somehow. And then personal is making people feel like they know you just a little bit better after they read. So humor, personal stories, hobbies, shit posting. These are all things that can make someone feel closer to you like they know you a little better. So those are my four content types that help me grow pretty quickly on Twitter and not just grow quickly, but an engaged audience who actually buys my stuff and buys my products and services. So if you wanna grow an engaged audience as well who buys your stuff, make sure that you follow these content types and start implementing this for your Twitter profile as well. Now, one more thing, if you wanna create internet income from writing online and you want daily tips around that, make sure you go to seananthony.co, join my email list. You're gonna get my free 1K a day offer buffet course, which breaks down my entire business model. And then from there, you'll get those daily tips around writing online and making money from that. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found this valuable on the four content types to grow your Twitter audience. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.